Good afternoon, and uh, today we're going to have another fun chat. Uh, bring something to the table. T uh, title it, sorry, episode number is 729. The topic today is women want stability, safety, and security. And second to that is men, it's not about your wallets, because this has been a messy conversation. So before I jump into that and explain more about this, let me introduce myself so you know who I am and why I'm here. Um, my name is Barry Selby. This is my daily broadcast, by the way, on Facebook Live. I'll say about that in a moment, too. I'm a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and passionate champion for the divine feminine. I'm also a relationship attraction expert, helping women create balance in love, life, and business. And I've been doing these talks now for over two years because being a passionate champion for the divine feminine, I do speak to women a lot about love and relationships. I also hear from them as well, which evokes a lot of topics. So today, we're episode number 729. Every day, by the way. Um... And the topic today is women want safety, security, and stability. And men, it's not about your wallets because there's a lot of confusion about this. Um, I put a post out earlier today that got quite a lot of comments already and a lot of uh, likes and shares because it speaks to this sort of paradigm. It's not quite the same question, but it's the same solution. So let me break this down for you. Now, first of all, <laughs> first of all, let me preface this by saying, living in Southern California, this may not be true for all the people who are watching. <laughs> But as an overall teaching, this is, is, this is relevant because in the masculine and feminine principle and the paradigm between men and women in particular, when men are generally more masculine, women are more generally feminine, because I like to generalize that a lot, what really makes a woman feel safe in a relationship, have stability and have, um, what does I say, stability, safety, security, security is the other one, isn't about how much money is in the, bank, in the, in the guy's bank account. Now, it's interesting because some men think that's what gives them the strength to support their partner. It gives them the financial strength, perhaps. But if you were somebody went through the crash in 2008, it was a bit of a crash that we had back in 2008, some relationships actually did fall apart because of this issue. Because the woman was tied to the man who believed that he could only provide for her because he had money. When he had no money left, either he bailed or she bailed. There's quite a few relationships that ended because of that. But what I want to speak to, though, is deeper than that. Because this is about energy. That funny thing called energy, that woo-woo thing. Now, what I mean literally is the energetic support structures we put in place. So many women want a man they can trust. I talked about this yesterday in, in the responsibility conversation. By the way, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do invite you to watch my library, and I'll tell you at the end where you can find my recordings, because there's a lot of good content out there besides today's. And yesterday we were talking about um, responsibility, the big R word. And that was a pretty rich conversation. And I mentioned in there, which is kind of relevant to this topic, how the most um, important qualities of a man for a woman to trust him is to make sure that he's in integrity, that he's honest, that he's reliable, and that he's consistent. So it's something like that. Because those are the qualities that, um, when a man is that, presents that, brings that forward, is something that a woman, and anybody too, but particularly his, his female partner, can lean on, can trust, and feel safe. See, safety, security, and... What was the other one? <laughs> I lost the other one. Come back to me. Sorry. So it's <laughs> security, safety, stability. That was the other word. Stability. Because the thing about stability, it's not about financial stability necessarily. It's about energetic stability. It's about reliability, consistency, integrity. These things that are not physical labels, they're actually intangible energetic qualities. And a woman can find a man she can trust that way, there's a lot more space to be in a healthy relationship. Now, there are some women, this is again, Southern California, who are searching for the man who has the car, the house, the money, etc., which is what the post this morning was, uh, post this morning, this afternoon, the post I put out earlier was about that is that women aren't looking for that necessarily. However, there's always exceptions to the rule, and in this part of the country, there is quite a bit of that, where there are, I mean, I was a friend of mine who lives in Orange County, he was talking about this. In Orange County, particularly, there's a very, it's a very conservative and money-driven culture. So quite a lot of women have been trained, so I don't think it's natural, to think that the, the value, sorry, been trained that their safety and security they're looking for comes from a man's bank account how nice his car is, how big his house is, how much he can take care of her financially. But ultimately, I firmly believe 
that a healthy relationship and maybe an awakened relationship is based on these principles I talk about, which is being being reliable, consistent, stable, healthy, healthy. Well, that's in there too, I guess. But in integrity and keeping and being consistent. You see, what a woman, and this is true for the women looking who are money seekers too, has a challenge with is inconsistency. When a man cannot be relied upon, it's hard for a woman to love him, except unless she's looking to, to um, uh, what's the word looking for? To to have a uh, a project. That's the word project to try and save him. Because some women do look to, be, to find a man to save, which is a whole other conversation I'm not talking about today. I just don't think I'm going to talk about it today. But the thing that gives a woman something she... Like, basically, I can say this another way. For a lot of women, what really helps them love more is to find a man that they can trust and rely upon who's consistent. When a man is wishy-washy, as one putting it, or inconsistent, it's hard, to be, uh, it's hard for a woman to love him. And I was that man a couple of times, so I know it felt to be on the other end of it, where I couldn't provide the stability. And I don't mean, again, I don't mean financial stability, I mean energetic stability. It's that consistency to provide a safe space that she would feel safe in my presence, so to speak. This is the thing that makes relationships so challenging because, and this is why there's a lot of stuff going on with, is it okay? This just came through, so I'm gonna speak about what just came through. There's some challenges in relationships for a lot of women because they can't trust the men they're with because sometimes men, um, as they take advantage. Some of the issues around sexual misconduct, whether it's cheating or um, abuse, these sort of things undermine trust, obviously in a very dramatic way, but it's that energetic level that I'm talking about where it's consistency. When a man is reliable and consistent, meaning that he will treat her with respect and will treat her with honor and will speak to her truthfully. That's where respect gets built. That's where stability, where trust, sorry, stability, safety, and support. Support, no, no. This thing might do three words. Sometimes I forget one of the three words, they drop out. Safety, stability, security, it's come out. So it's important, I believe, for men looking to find a relationship with women to really hone those skills themselves. It's not up to the woman to bring it out of you. Sorry, ladies, it's not your job. It's for men to own and represent and bring it for themselves in their daily living. Because for one thing, when men do that, it's actually more attractive to women. When women see a man that they can trust, that can be reliable, that can be consistent, that they can count on, it's way more attractive than some guy with a flashy car, but you can't trust him to th for two minutes. And this is the thing. Some men are caught up in this paradigm too, where they think that if they've just got enough money, they have the nice car and the nice house, they've got it made and they'll have the woman they want. Again, in this part of the world, that might happen. But the reality is they won't be happy because it's all on the external, it's all the safety. Sorry, it's all, it's all on the surface, safety. On the surface, and for a lot of people, that relationship will be predicated on the security that's created by the financial stability. And when it goes away, like it in 2008 for some people, the relationship just falls apart. So building the internal strength, building the internal stability, building the internal skills, makes sure more, for men, a much more reliable and um, attractive partner. And for women, when they seek that out themselves, they'll also find that they're much more loved, supported, comfortable, enjoyment, enjoying, enjoy, enjoying, enjoying, and also finding that they have a compatibility in a partnership. See, for me, this, this whole conversation is taking the level from surface to depth. Because in relationships, it's sometimes easy to look at the surface, the appearance, the presentation as being what makes it work. But really, it's the internals. It's where the heart meets heart. It's where the openness happens and where the true qualities of who we are become present and reliable which is an interesting way to get to. So let me back up and wrap up from the beginning because I just went all over the place. It's tempting to think that, which way am I going to go with this? For the women <laughs> to think they just need to get a guy who's got money. It's a nice thing to have. I'm not going to say it's a bad thing, but I'm very clear, very clear that for a woman to have a healthy relationship with a man, she, wants, she needs to find a man she can really trust and rely, up, rely upon emotionally and I'll make that one clear because that's the other part too is there are so many um, hmm, 
relationships that are falling apart because of that. I know so many women, friends, who have found that men they couldn't count on. Didn't matter how much money they had. And of course, there's a the whole issue with, with financial, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not kidnapping. That's an interesting word that came up. No, there, 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 are, there are relationships that are based upon financial withholding. Where, and I don't mean that as tax purposes, by the way, but there are relationships where the man will, will basically threaten the woman's purse strings to keep her in control. Again, not healthy. So I'm, I'm emphatic in this point, I guess, that relationships are based upon mutual trust, by the way, and having that place where a man is consistent, is reliable, and is solid in who he is, is way more attractive, way more safe, and way more secure for a woman to be with. And this is the dance of relationship that I think is important to know. For women, there's another piece of that, which is, yes, a man wants a woman who he can rely upon. But the truth is, for women, being stable and being consistent isn't something that's natural for women. Because women are designed to be in the feminine, should say. The feminine is designed to be in a flow, and a movement. It's, it's when it's stable, it can get boring, to be honest. And for a lot of men, we think we want a woman who's going to be consistent. But we do want a woman who's going to stay with us, of course. <laughs> At least those of us looking for healthy relationships. But the reality is for women, it's more about having the ability to flow in a smooth way. But in a lot of ways for women to be able to flow that way, they need a man who can be solid. One of my teachers said a long time ago, how in relationships, the idea of the feminine masculine energy is like the rivers in the riverbank. That the feminine energy is like a mighty river and the masculine energy is the banks that are creating a safe space for that or, or a containment, not controlling, but a containment. So when a woman is in her, when the, excuse me, I can use the terms man and woman, the feminine masculine, when the feminine is flowing, it's in full effect, it's fully alive, it's fully vital, it's fully, it's fully expressing. When the masculine is holding the banks, that's easy to happen. If the masculine wasn't strong and solid in his, in his contained, and I hate using the word containing, but in his management of that flow, then the, the river basically, like for example, if the river burst the banks because the masculine wasn't strong enough, there's been no river anymore. The, the feminine energy would be gone. So the feminine doesn't thrive when a masculine's not in his strength. Excuse me. The feminine doesn't thrive when the masculine is not in his strength. I keep switching the words. On the other side of it, if the masculine is not strong enough to hold up to create the space, he's not serving the feminine. And so this conversation, in a way, speaks back to the core elements of masculine feminine behavior. And it's that ability for, for, for uh, stability and for flow to work together in the masculine and feminine. The differences are what make us attractive to each other, by the way, but it's also what makes us work together so well. So to bring that back to the beginning one more time to wrap this up, for women, I, I encourage you, if you're not really thinking this way, do you want to find a man who can, who can not, no, 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 who demonstrates without proving to you, <laughs> let's say like, if you can prove to you, it's not, no. When a man is some man you can, count on, who's reliable, who's consistent, who presents himself authentically and who speaks from integrity. That's a man you want to check out in more detail about somebody you can be with. And again, if you're looking for a man who happens to have a big wallet and a nice car and a bonus house, so be it. But know that you won't be going that deep necessarily in that partnership. And for men, and I put myself in this conversation because I talk about this too, is that it's not about achieving a certain amount of income to get the goal. It's about doing the inner work to be strong enough in who you are to own and honor and live in who you are as a fully masculine, stab stable, consistent, healthy male that makes you more attractive to the female. I think I've talked about this about seven times. You got my point. There's a room to shift for a lot of people where they're putting their values and their beliefs on, on in, um, inconsistent and unreliable hooks. When you go deeper into the truth of what you really want in a relationship, you can actually have what you really want because the thing that you really want is going to be the things that last. And it's the internal qualities that last longer than external changes. I was talking to a friend this morning, uh, this morning, early today, about the thing of, oh, about how looks change. It was a conversation I was having with somebody else. Like, the truth is these sort of things are transient. They're changeable. Money is too. So having the inner... Uh, con um, Consistency, dur durability, and the reliability of who we are as beings is where the real relationship can thrive. So the, other, the accessories are great. The externals are wonderful to have. No argument about that. But using those as the only thing for a relationship is you end up with a very surface relationship, as I've said. 
So I invite you to look deeper when you're looking for a relationship, for partnership, for more than just, obviously, if you're, not, if you're just dating and having sex, so that's your choice. But I'm saying if you want to go deeper into a relationship, I recommend having these, these thoughts in your mind as you're seeking, searching, and being and looking for love in the right places. I think that's made my point. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, by the way, I do this every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time. This is episode 729, so I've done a few of these now. Um, every day, seven days a week. If you want to get help, I'll put a link in the comments for the ladies for a discovery session with me so you can have more help in this area. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, I, I do have these on my personal page, which you can find me, and there should be a link somewhere around the video that says uh, to be, be notified when I go live again, so you know you get notified each time. The replays, if you haven't seen me, do this before, <laughs> even if you have, are on my personal, sorry, on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. My personal page is Barry Selby on Facebook. I also put them onto YouTube for those people who are YouTube viewers, maybe less distractions there. And so my channel on YouTube is Barry Selby, my name as all my social media is. And the playlist on there is Messages from the Masculine, so you can have a look at those. By the way, if you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to build up my subscriber list, subscribe, subscription count, that's the word I'm looking for because that's something to do. So um, on this topic, if you have thoughts, questions, concerns, comments, I invite you to put them below. I'll respond when I sign off. And if you have any questions or you want some help, again, I'll put a link in the comments for a discovery session with me. And I'll put it in the description. With that, I thank you for watching. Um, join me tomorrow for another topic. It may be related, it may not be. Again, if you didn't see yesterday's broadcast about responsibility, I invite you to watch that one. That was episode 728. That one got juicy too. So thanks for being with me as always. I will see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.